when we think about big data, we usually define it by the three V's. Uh, that's volume, velocity, and variety. So volume, of course, is big, lots of volume. Uh, you know, we're no longer talking about small files or small databases. But we're talking about large amounts of data. Uh, the velocity has to do with uh, fast processing. Uh, perhaps you want to get to real-time decision making. So being able to do it, uh, get that data, process it very quickly, and make it available so you can make decisions. Uh, and the last one, variety, we're talking about the different types of data that are now available. In the past, we were talking about numerical data pre predominantly stored inside of a database. Now we're talking about all sorts of unstructured data. You're talking about tweets, social media, blogs, uh, video, audio files, uh, and how do you take advantage of that whole series of, of, um, of data. Now, there's really a fourth V, and that's value. And the question is, how do you get value out of the data? And that's really where analytics comes into play. Oh, there's lots of different uh, ways that the government can use big data. Uh, let's start with healthcare. Healthcare is a big expense uh, to government agencies, no matter what level of government we're talking about, national, state, local, uh, they all have to deal with the issue of uh, health care. Uh, we're coming online now with a lot of electronic health records, uh, EHRs. These health records can be analyzed to get a better understanding of where our costs are. They can also be used to get a better handle on what's the best treatment given a set of circumstances. If you analyze large, uh, a large population, you may be able to determine what's the best treatment, what's the best approach uh, to different types of uh, problems that we're having. So that's an example in the, in the healthcare field. Uh, we can also use this in, in other fields. We can use this in the transportation field, help do transportation planning, help reduce congestion uh, by analyzing all of the data, large volumes of data and traffic uh, coming in. Uh, we can use this in the field of, of um, law enforcement. Uh, we're working with a number of law enforcement agencies now to use all sorts of data, not just the internal data uh, that exists within law enforcement agencies, but external information, some is coming from social media, uh, weather data, all sorts of things to be able to do a better job of predicting uh, when crime will occur, and in some cases to help solve crimes. Uh, there, the other big area that all agencies are concerned with today uh, is reducing improper payments uh, or waste, fraud, and abuse. And that's another area where we can start using big data approaches to try to reduce the amount of improper payments. It's not just about using the data that's internal to the agency, but to take that internal data and merge it with external data that they can find to help understand, is there a match between the internal data and the external data that may indicate that there's an improper payment going on? We can also do modeling so we can do some predictions and say, this looks suspicious. Uh, you know, we've done some predictive, uh, predictive analysis that would determine that we believe there's 90% confidence that this may be a fraudulent or an improper payment of some sort. Well, there's been a lot of buzzwords in uh, government and a lot of acronyms and so forth. Uh, I don't think that big data uh, is just a passing fad. I don't think it's just a, a hype kind of thing. Uh, and the reason is that governments have major problems, and up until this time, we haven't always been able to solve those problems. Uh, but by using big data, we're actually seeing that we can get uh, efficiencies uh, in the government, that they can better solve their problems. Uh, and the reason for this is that now we're finally at the point that we are collecting a lot of data in government. In the past, we couldn't necessarily use it. Now we actually have the systems and technology that can do the data mining, that can do the analytics on that big data uh, to make it of value. And the third point to make here is that it's now finally affordable. The technology, the IT technology has come down uh, in price so much that we can actually handle all these big data uh, kind of problems that we couldn't handle before and use it to provide value to our government agencies.